subscribe if you guys want to keep up with the journey. I actually have some footage of the house, so I'll be showing you guys that house right now. So here we go. This is, I believe, day five of my wholesaling journey. I'm trying to wholesale a house in, in three weeks, trying to find a deal. I'm trying to find a cash buyer and get it wholesale and uh, pretty much go throughout the whole process all in under three weeks. So I found a property and this property that I found, I think is a great deal. I need to look into it more. Uh, they say that there's issues with the foundation. So I'm going to go ahead and get an expert to take a look at that. Uh, today, I scheduled a tour to look at the house and see, um, you know, the, found, the foundation, how it's doing, because the realtor told me that there's problems with the foundation. So I want to go take a look at that myself, but I'm going to get someone to estimate um, how much it costs to fix up the foundation. Now, the realtor and the, the homeowner told me that they don't have an exact estimate, but two years ago, they had an estimate for $6,000, uh, so it might, mean, it might be more than that now. Uh, and I was speaking to the homeowner. He said he was willing to uh, sell it to me for a lower price, the house. So I was very interested in that. There's a lot of space in that house, a lot of potential, a lot of potential to fix up. The upstairs is pretty much a whole separate unit that could be rented out. I mean, that house is just amazing. And it's got an outside garage and an indoor garage, and it has a massive backyard fenced off separate from the house, but it's still there right behind the house. It's great. A massive, big driveway, a lot of space. The man said he wanted to get rid of the house because he doesn't have enough space. I mean, he has too much space in that property and he wants to find a house that's smaller for him. Um, so that's his reason. And he said that uh, that the foundation needs work and the upstairs needs remodeling, which is true. So I took a look at it myself and I think it's a great deal. Um, I ran the comps on it and everything seems to be great on this house so far, right? So I spoke to the realtor. I might have someone come out to take a look at it to get a brand new up-to-date estimate on the foundation. That way I can take that into account in my report or in my uh, when I run the numbers and be able uh, to see whether or not I can make an offer on the house, get the house under contract, then find a cash buyer, get that cash buyer to buy the house and collect my cut of the payment. So the process is getting started. I hope that this house falls through. We don't know just yet. We're gonna take a look and see. Um, we're gonna take a look and see how, how this house uh, turns out at the end. So I'm gonna go home. I just got back from checking out two houses and the vending machine. I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna to talk to the realtor about the house. And as far as the uh, other house that I checked out, the first house, that was in Cedar Hill. Uh, I wasn't too impressed with that house. It just doesn't seem to be the kind of house that I'm looking for to, to wholesale. Um, but if I find a cash buyer whose criteria is what that house was, then I, I might, I might put it on, you know, I might try to see what I can do with it, but I'll be quite honest with you. That house has a lot of eyes on it. The house that I'm talking about earlier, it, it it's, it's got nobody looking at it and there's a reason for it. It's a foundation, but with the foundation, the damage that's done and the estimated repairs, if I get it on Monday, and how much it's estimated to cost to, to uh, rehab the house. I'm gonna take all that into account, how much the um, the after repair value is, the ARV on the house is, and I'm gonna run the numbers to see if there's a good deal. If there is a good deal, I'm gonna move forward, like I said, to put that house on the contract. The other house, I, I ran the numbers, the comps and everything, it doesn't really seem to be such a great deal. Uh, not as much as the first house is. And the, with the first house, I think there's room for negotiation since the foundation is really messed up um, I mean it's not it's not too severe but it's gonna require some investment to fix up the house I think I can negotiate a lower price for that house well that's what we did today the vending machine I found out it's malfunctioning at the very moment it's not taking in any coins I should have checked the dollar machine did not do that so I'm going to go back and check that out later on this week but I'm gonna have to look around and see how much it's gonna cost to fix up the vending machine so we can get that up and running again and so Oh, my little girl right now, she's waking up. So that's that. We got the vending machine right now out of order. The first house I looked at, I'm not too impressed by, so I'm not I'm not even going to look into that too much so far uh, anymore. I'm just going to kind of probably drop that, to be honest. Second house, which was the original house that we were looking at, that house seems to be quite promising. It has a foundations issue, but we're going to run an estimate, see how much it costs to fix it up. 
run the numbers, see if it all checks out. So that's what we did today. Hopefully we can do more. I got the contact information of like three or four realtors who have connections to cash buyers. So I'm going to see if I can get in connections with them and work with them on finding cash buyers for the future and any future deals. Maybe one of them might be interested in the house that I have right now. Who knows, right? So that's what we have going so far. Right now we are at Starbucks. We're about to do a little Starbucks date. We're going to enjoy a little, a little Starbucks and that's that. But yeah, you guys like the video, comment and subscribe. Let me know what you guys think about the house. You guys think it's a good deal? They're selling it for two hundred and fifty thousand. Uh, ARV is four hundred thousand. It needs to do rehab on top of the you know the second floor, complete rehab on the whole floor, and the foundation needs to be fixed. What I was looking at was a restroom and a little bit of another rooms, uh, but that's about it. I mean, that's about it. I, I see it as an opportunity. I think it's an investor's opportunity. I see opportunity in it. But you guys let me know. What do you guys think about this? Have you guys been through this before? I've heard some people say that houses with foundation issues are a no-go. But if people are afraid of foundation issues and they hear, you know, the first thing they hear whenever, or the first thing they do when they hear foundation issues is run away, I might open the doors to opportunities. So... And that's what I'm hoping this is, an opportunity. Well, y'all let me know. Comment down below what you think about the deal. A lot of opportunity ahead, you guys. So let me know what y'all think. Comment down below. Like the video. Subscribe if you guys want to keep up with the journey. I actually have some footage of the house, so I'll be showing you guys that house right now. So, yo fui a dividirlo y a hacer más cosas ahí, pero ya al final no hice nada. Mm. Yo lo que necesito es vender para comprarme algo más chiquito. Que ¿Quiere algo más chiquito? Yo y mi señora solo. Oh, sí, sí. ¿Y cuánto lo estás vendiendo? ¿El precio? Acá son 250. 250. Sí. Es un buen precio, ¿no? Sí, están altas ahora. Sí, es y la casa a mí necesita algo de dinero para acomodarla a tu manera y hacerla con un no, pues sí. pero, pero el futuro que Me estaba diciendo que había como problemas con el foundation, es lo que me dijo la lenda. Sí, ahí en la, ahí, ahí en la cocina tiene un poquito y esto, aquí me está comiendo los huevos aquí. Uh.
¿Un animal? No, la gallina puso un huevo de ella mismo, parece que lo, que lo rompió. ¿Y es el garage, verdad? Sí. ¿Puede, ¿Puede ver arriba también? Sí, claro, sí, ven por aquí, ven. Ven por aquí. ¿Y si, si, si abre y cierra los garage? ¿Y si abre y cierra? Sí, 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 abre y cierra. Sube tú mismo ahí arriba. Gracias, gracias. Outside, it's got a little driveway here. So, yeah, arriba antes estaba todos. This is the backyard. The backyard was fenced off, separate from the house. This is the driveway. So he's trying to sell it because he wants to buy something smaller, smaller property. So there you guys have it. That was the tour of the house. And this was day five of my three-week wholesaling challenge. And, uh, well, if you, like, if you guys like this journey, you guys like the video, want to keep up with my future videos, go ahead and like, subscribe, and comment. I would love all engagement on my channel. I would welcome it. If you comment, I promise I will reply. And if you like and subscribe to my channel, I will be eternally grateful. So, thank you guys for watching.